Hi guys, this week on the Angling Times, I'm with Byron Kane. Now last week we had an interview with the winners um, of the Ginjasa competition, the Batha brothers. And now I'm with Byron Kane, who was the overall top angler of the Ginjasa competition. And not just that, Byron is also a pro angler and ambassador for Lorenz. So Byron, thank you for meeting with us this morning. Yes, sir. My pleasure. Great. So now tell me, what was the game plan for that competition? How did you, how did you do it? Well, look, I mean, at the end of the day, uh, you know, I have, I've had the opportunity to fish that area quite a bit uh, previously. Yes. So I fished a few jet ski comps and I was fishing on jet skis, so um, I, I had a couple of areas that I knew I needed to go and uh, go and work, you know. Yeah. And uh, fortunately, the fishing was quite tough, but um, at the end of the day, you know, if you just kept working those areas and obviously using the Lawrence, uh, you know, GPS fish finder combos, you know, it shows you where the fish are, and if they're showing yeah. the fish are there, they're gonna feed at some point. You know, so it was just really a matter of just working certain areas uh, very hard until they delivered. You know, the species that required. Yeah, but the main thing is, is you have to get species to get the points. And you, you got seven species there. Yeah, seven species over on the comp. Yeah, so it was, you know, it was tough, um, but I, I, I was I was able to get a couple of good good uh, mixed bags of species on on a few of the days, which pushed the points up. And the main thing is also is not to blank on a day. You know, it's a five yeah. day comp, yeah, so you sure. have to be consistent. You have to keep putting points on the board every single day and just not have a blank. And I was very fortunate not to, not to have a blank, you know, and just mm -hmm. to keep keep the, the scoreboard ticking over. Because there were a couple of guys putting a lot of pressure on me of there. Of course, I can imagine. Yeah. Yes, and, of course. Uh, yeah, you know, yeah, it was a good was there. Good angles, you know, so, yeah. yeah, so it was, it was tough, but yeah, in the end it came out, so it worked to my favor. You know, so, a little bit of luck, you know, that's what you need, you know. Now, I know you fish with the HDS 7 Gen 3. Yeah, that's what yeah. I've got on. That's the unit we've got on our, on our boat. And uh, in the comp, I was using the, um, the Elite 5 okay. uh, combo. Yeah. But um, I've worked with both those units a lot in Lawrence, uh, and Lawrence as a whole has really come leaps and bounds over the last five years or so. You know, in terms yes. of the technology they've got, you know, from, a, from not only from a GPS point of view, from the mapping uh, and the whole uh, in, uh, genesis that they, they're looking at uh, using yes. now, but also on the fish finder side as well, you know, the clarity that you're getting out of the units with CHIP, mm -hmm. as well, uh, you know, taking the clutter out and the side scan uh, capabilities. You know, it's certainly uh, really put it as a top, top performing uh, unit out there, and I, I use it all the time and back yeah, in one hundred percent. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. So all these variables of the chirp and the inside genesis played a role in you becoming the um, the top angler of the competition. No, there's, look, there's no, there's no doubt. You know, I think you know the the ease of with moving through the through the um, uh, the menus as well has has moved. So, you know, the seven, you know, the HTS seven Gen three, the touch screen just makes things so much easier and quicker to operate. Uh, yes. You know, there's there's so many features on all of the units that are out there, you know, it's just to, to have the time to really go through in depth and learn everything is difficult, you know, and but really the ease of use for me on these on the new uh, generation three touchscreen is just uh, makes is fantastic, you know. And you, you're operating everything you or yourself, especially on a jet ski, so you need that, you know, there's not someone do, working the rods and the baits and yes, someone driving course. the boat and that's that's something. you'd have to do a whole lot, so you really want something that's easy, you want to move around a lot, you're moving to different areas, you want something that's going to update quickly, smoothly, and then also give you the reading, be able to zoom in quickly on the bottom, lock in, and actually, you know, uh, distinguish between bait fish, you know, bigger fish, and yes. the, 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 the units are getting so good now that after a few uh, uh, times that you've used them mm. and the fish that you're catching you can now start associating certain showings with certain fish. You know, of course. That comes up yes. time and that's really what you want, especially fishing in, in species uh, competitions. You know, you've got to be able to know, right, I'm in the right place, they are here, I'm gonna stay here and work this. No, that's a bait showing, uh, you know, yeah. I'm not really comfortable with what I'm seeing here. And we want and again the Lawrence uh, HDS really gives you that um, that ability, you know. Awesome. Brilliant. Uh, you know, other things also on the jet ski and both on the ski, but with the high speed uh, transducer, for me also over the last couple of years, I mean, it's allowed us to find so much more reef. And even, as I said earlier, fishing at Kinjota, I had a lot of marks. Yes. But there was one, there was one day in particular where I actually found uh, additional, you know, marks by, while I was traveling. And that's yeah. the ability to be traveling at 40 k's an hour and still getting a clear reading of the water. Well, I think that's the main thing, yeah, exactly. You know, the chocolate, that's yeah. where you get the clarity, you know, Because everyone's got certain common marks which are going to be worked and pressured, and uh, if you can find those other marks that aren't, aren't feeling the pressure, especially in competitions, 
which the Lawrence did uh, on the Thursday. You know, it put me on to three species in half an hour. Well, and, um, well. <laughs> you know, and so <laughs> that was, yeah, it was. It was just amazing because I saw the pinnacle while I was traveling. I stopped, I came back to it, I marked it, I went back on the screen, and, you know, it was there. They were showing there, the fish were there, and the bike was on. So, yeah, it was. I definitely played a role. <laughs> so it's clear that your, your Lawrence Fish Finder that, uh, played a vital role in all of this. Is there any um, anyone else you'd like to thank for you becoming the top angler of the competition? Yeah, look, I think uh, I think the big thing is that from a jet ski perspective, you know, it's the first time I've had the jet ski element in the Kinjata Bonanza, the yes. added in. I think it was a, it was awesome. It really is a great place to go and fish. Mm. Um, you know, and uh, that's that's come about through uh, Durban Yamaha coming yes. on board and they actually put a, a jet ski up as first prize for the biggest fish um, which was won by 21.7 uh, kilo GT so mm. quality fish and yeah and, uh, the guys were there and they were all uh, supporting it so I just think in the future this event is definitely going to grow yeah so to Yamaha and to Lawrence and I just really want to want to thank them for all their support and what they're doing for uh, angling as a whole I think it's fantastic and just going to grow the sport going forward uh. perfect brilliant well guys there you have it Lawrence creating uh, better anglers, getting them onto the fish and uh, if there's any more information you need with regards to the Lawrence products you can contact Lawrence to get hold of Byron or any of the other ambassadors and they'll be glad to help you out with uh, any further advice and uh, the usability of it. So until the next time on Angling Times, cheers. Thanks Byron.